Hey everybody, this is Mac Daddy Mike, and with the recent Star Wars Humble Bundle that came out, I've been inspired to revisit one of my favorite PC games from the past. Uh, in the Humble Bundle was included the original Dark Forces and Jedi Academy, but it missed the three excellent games in between, by which I mean Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, and the lesser known Mysteries of the Sith that lies right in the middle. A uh, little bit of background on this game, uh, it came out in 1998, shortly after the release of Jedi Knight, and was uh, sold as a companion mission set, which basically was uh, the expansion pack of the late 90s, before you could download anything in DLC, it actually came on a hard disc. The uh, reason it was an expansion pack and not a standalone game was that you needed to have owned Jedi Knight first to be able to run it. It ran on uh, kind of like a... a uh, DRM thing where uh, you had to insert the disc from Jedi Knight to be able to play Mysteries of the Sith. Now, sadly, the version that you can buy on Steam for both Jedi Knight and Mysteries of the Sith does not really work on modern PCs, at least not with a lot of tweaking. So for anybody really curious as to how I got this game running, uh, I've made a little how-to video on how to actually play Jedi Knight and Mysteries of the Sith on a modern PC. Uh, and it's a shame that Valve hasn't addressed this themselves because they are pretty much selling broken products on their platform right now. But with the disbanding of LucasArts, it's unlikely that we'll see any official fix for this problem. A little bit of my background with this game. Uh, I actually wrote what was, or what is probably the only go-to walkthrough for this game. Uh, if you go to GameFAQs, uh, the only full walkthrough is written by me. I wrote it. 15 years ago about, somewhere around there, uh, at least when I was very, very young. Uh, and I kind of forgot about it until a friend of mine <laughs> reminded me when I told him that I was going to be doing this series, uh, which is kind of hilarious because when I do get stuck in this game, I do end up looking my own walkthrough, and there's something a little bit embarrassing about that. So the game takes place uh, over a series of 14 missions. Uh, the first of which are played as Kyle Katarn, the kind of main character from the Dark Forces and Jedi Knight games. Uh, and then the remainder is played as Mara Jade, a character from Timothy Zahn's uh, Hand of Thrawn and Thrawn trilogies. Basically his own creation that ended up being a very important part of the expanded universe. And this game really ended up being a huge bridge uh, to, to bridge the gap between the expanded universe and the kind of LucasArts style games. The only thing that really came before this was Shadows of the Empire, uh, which worked off of other expanded universe materials. And then this was the next really big thing, which is unfortunate because a lot of people didn't play it. As far as I know, it was kind of a small release, didn't really garner as much attention as Jedi Knight did. Um, which is a shame because it really is an improvement over that game and in a lot of ways, specifically the multiplayer. Uh, these voices that you might be recognizing here, uh, Kakatarn is played by Rina Romano in this, as opposed to every other iteration. Um, I don't remember who did the voice for Jedi Knight, and it was a different voice for Outcast and Academy. But Rina Romano, you might recognize him from other Star Wars titles like Knights of the Old Republic, where he voiced Darth Revan, uh, or you might recognize him as Spider-Man from Spider-Man Unlimited, or Batman from The Batman. He's actually got a, a, a rather extensive list of credentials there in terms of voice work. Uh, the gal playing Mara J didn't really do too much after this, aside from a, a bunch of other small roles. But you may recognize the voices of Steam, Steve Bloom and Roger Jackson in this game as well, uh, who have gone on to have really extensive careers in voice work. Uh, so first thing we gotta do is uh, get my lightsaber out, because it's freaking cool! And I'll actually probably be using my lightsaber more than any of the guns in this game. Now the little voice is telling us to shut the blast doors here, which we don't actually have to do. Uh, we get this little interaction here where the blast doors get uh, bombed open. Um, but we can just move on through the level without having done this, so it's kind of an optional little interaction. What it does do is give us some ammo for our blaster here uh, without having to put up much of a fight. Uh, and while I don't always condone violence against good guys, if you ever need some ammo, feel free to kill NPCs. There's no light or dark system, you're not gonna get in trouble for killing these NPCs, so just go for it. Now I got much more blaster ammo than I would have otherwise. Now the way we want to go is through there, but that wall just blew open uh, as part of kind of like the story ambush from the Empire here. 
If we go through there, we'll fight a lot of stormtroopers for pretty much no reason. It's a dead end, and it's kind of a tough fight. Uh, sorry, buddy. I need your gun. Uh, so why do this? Well, this is a little bit of a game design or level design trick. What they wanted to do was draw your attention to this part of the wall so that when you turn around, you notice what's up there. Uh, and this is an optional area here, which leads to our very first secret of the game. Neat little game design trick there. Uh, they pretty much set it up so that you discover it yourself without kind of having to tell you. Um, and without kind of forcing you to explore around. Let's get out of here. The first level is actually designed rather well in that they kind of ease you into the difficulty, right? Nobody can really know if you've played Jedi, or well, you had to have played Jedi Knight to run this game, but uh, it might have been a long time, uh, and they wanted to make this game accessible to new players, so very smartly, the first mission is one where you have a lot of NPC characters fighting the enemies for you. Uh, what this does is make it a little bit easier for you to just kind of go in and hack and slash because uh, enemies are not always paying attention to you. Uh, they might be paying attention to this squad of gentlemen. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay, maybe I just like doing that. I really don't need to. Why not? Ow! Uh, I am using a lot of the lightsaber right now. I, I won't be spamming it so much in the future, especially in the next map, so d don't be worried that I'm dumbing down the combat a little bit. Uh, oh! See, now, most of these stormtroopers you can kill with just the regular forward slash, but those scout troopers have uh, heavier armor, so it's better to use the kind of double swing, which does a lot more damage, which uh, anybody who's played Jedi Knight online with the multiplayer would definitely be aware of. <laughs> okay, maybe the AI could use a little bit of work. Those, the, we had a stormtrooper and a rebel trooper just standing in the same room with each other and not doing anything. Um... What's up there? I believe there are some shields. I don't need shields. I'm not going to go up there. But what I am going to do is jump up here. Ah, if, if I can manage it. Come on. Huh. Alright, thread the needle, Mac. Wait, did that guy shoot me? Ow. You definitely shot me. I'm really mad at you. Okay, I need some force here. Ah, oh, come on. I can't believe I messed this up so much. Alright, maybe I will go over here and uh, kill some dudes. Haha! -ha! You tried to ambush me, but I ambushed you. Hopefully this will get me enough force power back. Uh, that's the gauge in the bottom right there. That's slowly filling up, because I need to make this jump. Maybe I'll just jump into first person view. This might be a little easier. Yeah! Alrighty. And uh, from that we get two secrets. So that's secret two and three of the level, and now that we have the card key we were told to get, we can kind of move on. Uh, look out behind you! Look out behind you! <laughs> oh, that never gets old. I'm a, I'm a bad man. It's alright. Oh! Yeah, speed is an ally here. I, I, I know this stage pretty well already, so I can just kind of run through and kill everybody. Um, let's go up here. We don't need to go over there for any reason. But this will get us to our next objective point. We need to get to the communications room. All right, thank you. I'll let you deal with the uh, the rabble rousers back there. Oh, I'm actually playing pretty recklessly. I, I could definitely be doing a better job of this. Oh, ah, but forget it. I'm just gonna stick to my saber for now, at least for the first stage. A lot of the the awesome gun combat happens in the next stage anyway, where I'll be showing off a lot more of the weapons, um, most of which I've already picked up by going to all the secret areas in this stage. So I'm actually pretty far ahead in terms of the arsenal. Uh, the dangerous thing about the lightsaber, which I don't think they actually had in Jedi Knight, was that you can get stunned out of an attack. Uh, so if you're swinging and an enemy shoots you, you can actually um, be interrupted. And that can happen over and over again, which does not bode very well for you. I've had many a quick death from just being spammed by one guy who just kept shooting me when I tried to slash him. Ah, ha, ha, he almost got me. Uh, here's another secret. Just slash the grate. And give me the goodies. I don't really need to kill these guys. I could just run right past them to the objective point, which is right over here. Ambush this guy. Flip the power. Um, but the power being restored also opens up this room over here. 
which has a neat little secret in it as well. The benefit of getting all the secrets in every stage is that once you beat the stage, you get more force power points to put into uh, new abilities or upgrading old ones. So I'm going to be doing my best to uh, grab all the secrets, if not to show you all of them, um, and remember where they all are, uh, but for the extra bonuses that come from... Oh no, this is going to hurt. Ow. That was reckless of me. Oh, oh, actually I'm, I'm not doing very well. I should probably keep an eye out for some... Health. Oh wait, secret. There we go. More health. Oh, I hate this guy. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna hurt. Oh, that hurt. Okay, let's let's get out some gun. Uh, so first our little mini boss here. I'm gonna use the rail launcher. Not really mini boss. I could just run by this guy, but I want to kill him because I don't know. I'm mean. Okay, that's not fun. Aha! Gotcha. And uh, here's the first of many Mac Daddy Mike tricks. So the real way that we want to beat this stage is to break through this grate, go through a bunch of tunnels and fight some new enemies and uh, go through some rotating fans that I've never gotten the timing down of. Uh, or we can do things my way, which is to uh, kind of cheat a little bit. So I'm just gonna quick save first. And that is to turn on four speed and jump over this gap and then just run straight to the end here where uh, we end the level. See ya everybody! And there we have it. That was the first level of Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith. Uh, from here things get very much difficult because now Kyle's gonna be on his own. I'm not gonna have those uh, cannon fodder rebel soldiers to take up the bullet sponges for me. Uh, and I'm gonna be showing off a lot more more gunplay in the next level. So I will see you there. First, let's uh, put ourselves some force powers here. So we earned three stars. We would have gotten only two if we didn't find all the secrets. Uh, I'm going to... Let's see. Farsight is pretty cool. Grip is cool. Saber throw is awesome. Uh, definitely speed. Speed is super helpful. Persuasion is cool because I want to be invisible. Um, and I've always been a fan of force pull because it kind of disarms your opponents. And uh, why not put one into jump, just for, for kicks. Oh, I have one more, actually. Ejection, push. No, force push isn't as cool in this game as it is in uh, Jedi Outcast. So I'm going to put one into scene, because why not? All right, let's go. Uh, 